In this guide, we'll show you how to start using your SATS card to anonymously pass physical Bitcoin along multiple times. You'll learn how to scan the SATS card and load it with funds, unseal and sweep the funds to a Bitcoin wallet, and load subsequent slots with Bitcoin in order to repeat this process. Here's what you'll need. A CoinKite SATS card and an NFC-enabled cell phone with Nunchuck wallet installed. Start by holding the SATS card to your phone. A pop-up should appear linking to GetSATSCard.com, displaying the pre-generated address and the balance on the SATS card. Currently, it has a balance of zero SATS. Let's copy the address so we can load the SATS card with funds. Open the Bitcoin wallet of your choice. In this example, we'll be using Moon Wallet. Paste the address you just copied and send some SATS to it. Wait for it to confirm and your SATS card will now be loaded with SATS. Now you can pass the SATS card along as many times as you'd like. Remember, the funds cannot be swept without having both the SATS card and the CVC code on the back of the card. The balance and current slot number can be checked at any time by simply scanning the SATS card. It's important to remember that in order for the current holder of the card to be certain that they have sole custody of the funds, there's no recovery mechanism for the card. So make sure you don't lose the card or its associated CVC code. To redeem and spend the balance of the SATS card, we need to unseal and sweep the balance using an NFC-enabled Bitcoin wallet. Today we'll be using Nunchuck. Open Nunchuck and tap the NFC icon in the top right-hand corner. Hold the SATS card to the phone to scan it. If your SATS card has a balance which hasn't been unsealed yet, you'll see the Bitcoin address for the balance along with an option to unseal and sweep balance. You can also see which slot contains the balance and the total number of slots on the SATS card. Tap Unseal and Sweep Balance. You can sweep the funds to any Bitcoin address, but for now, let's just sweep to an existing wallet in Nunchuck. Tap Sweep to a Wallet. Select the wallet you want to sweep to. Adjust the fee if you wish or hit continue to proceed with the default fees. Double check the transaction and if you're happy, tap confirm and create transaction. You'll be prompted to enter the CVC code for the SATS card. Enter the six digit pin from the back of the card. This pin never changes and it's the same for every slot. Tap confirm. Hold the SATS card to the phone to sign the transaction. We're now prompted that the SATS card has been swept. And that's it. You've successfully swept those funds and used that slot on the SATS card. Now let's create a new slot since we've used the last one. Tap the NFC icon in the top right hand corner. Hold the SATS card to the phone to scan it. This time we're prompted that no active slot is detected and asked if we want to set up a new slot. Tap yes. You'll now be prompted to set up a chain code which provides entropy to add randomness to the key generation. Choose automatic. Enter the six digit pin from the back of the card and hit confirm. Hold the SATS card to the phone to scan it. Now we have a brand new address for slot two of the SATS card. Remember, you can send funds to the SATS card as many times as you want, but when you sweep it, you sweep all the funds to a new address in a single transaction. The SATS card has 10 slots you can use, so you can use it over and over again. Once a slot has been swept, you can no longer use that particular slot and the card automatically advances to the next slot for reloading. And that's it. You're now ready to start using your SATS card to anonymously pass physical Bitcoin along multiple times. To learn more about how to use the SATS card, head over to GetSATSCard.com.